Go. What do you imagine when you think of an orca whale? Do you see a dark shape in the water, a spiritual omen among Native American tribes, or a mighty creature performing tricks in an amusement park? My name is Lara Fanning. I'm a student studying animal care and hope to study zoology in the near future. It is my task today to inform you about the orca Miss orca, or the orca whale. Contrary to popular belief, the orca whale isn't actually a whale, but a member of the Delphinidae, or the dolphin family. It is a marine mammal requiring oxygen every three to four minutes, though it has been recorded to hold its breath for up to 12 minutes at a time. Most of you will know what an orca whale looks like. It is a large streamlined black shape with white patches around the eyes, under the belly, and a gray patch on the back called the saddle strap. Um, these two large pectoral fins can propel this animal up to 50 kilometers per hour in the water. They grow from six to nine meters long and can weigh between two and a half to five and a half thousand kilograms depending on their age and their gender. Uh, baby orca whales, called calves, are born in the winter months, the gestation period between um, about 15 and 18 months. Calves reach sexual maturity at 15 years old and will never leave their mother's sides. Female orca whales are exceptionally good mothers. Now, wild orca whales live in matriarchal groups called pods. Um, every member of the pod is blood related um, because the calves will never leave their mother's side and nor will their own offspring. They are highly social animals with um, relationships and bonds built with all members in their pod. Wild pop, um, pod populations are spread throughout the globe, but they tend to um, occur in the colder waters, such as in um, Antarctica, the Northwest um, Pacific, and the North Atlantic Oceans. Um, pods always migrate in, in accordance with their prey species and have been documented to travel 9,000 kilometers um, during these migrations. There are about 50,000 wild orcas in, um, in the world, um, but it's really hard to get an accurate count on their numbers because they're constantly moving. Orca diets um, vary on the regions that they come from. They are always carnivorous, however. They eat um, a variety of, of food, including marine mammals, bony fish, crustaceans, birds, turtles, squid, um, and even other whales on occasions. Um, in the North Pacific Ocean, interestingly, um, they have been documented to eat only salmon, that is the resident orcas, while transient pods will come through and feast on marine mammals. Um, I like to think of them sort of as the wolves of the ocean because they use pack um, strategy to hunt. You can see here they are about to create a wave to knock this seal off an ice shelf to eat it. Now just like with their diet, orcas from different regions have their own behaviours, territory, um, social systems and dialect. Marine biologists claim that orca whales have language. Um, Lori Marino, this woman, she performed an MRI scan on an orca whale and found out that they have a part of the brain that processes emotions just like people. Um, she claims that they understand symbolic language they can problem solve, they have visual perspective, and a really fantastic memory. Um, orca whales, they communicate with whistles and pulse calls that can be used both in long and short range. As you can imagine, when it comes to a creature the size of an orca whale, there are severe ramifications caused by keeping them in captivity. There is a lot of controversy surrounding this subject, because the scientific community knew very little about orca whales until recent years. Captive orcas are used for performances, um, to educate the public and for breeding programs. While captivity obviously has its benefits, there, um, it is considered by most to be very taxing on orca whales' mental and physical um, state of being. There are 56 orca whales around the globe that are kept in captivity. Now, some of the problems with orcas in captivity include that they are cramped into small concrete pools that aren't suitable for something the size of this animal. It's very hard to 
provide a suitable enclosure for an animal that is used to travelling hundreds of kilometres in its lifetime. Out of boredom, captive orca whales will chew with their enclosure walls, causing dental and internal problems that require endoscopy procedures to find out what is going on inside them. Um, this is an endoscopy procedure happening. Um, it is not a pleasant process for animal of the wake for it as a tube is put into its stomach, basically. Um, in these enclosures, there is no environmental enrichment and little space to move around. So obviously it's really lacking in physical and mental stimulation. You can see here how limiting captivity is for killer whales. This is the standard of living at SeaWorld Orlando, which is a very reputable organization in um, America. You can see the orca whale here and here in the tiny pools. This is where they spend their lives. Um, for the purpose of breeding and performing and housing, just in general, Captive orca pods are also constantly altered, and so artificial social groups are created. This creates a lot of tension and stress amongst the pod members, who usually would be a totally blood-related family group. Um, there are hundreds of whale-on-whale -whale injuries occurring, um, you know, every year in um, in captive orca situations. Um, in the wild, of course, this happens, and the whales attack one another, but they have the opportunity to distance themselves from the other whales until the stress levels come down a little bit. I'll just give you a moment to look over the reasons why they shouldn't be kept in captivity. Don't worry, I don't actually expect you to read this. Um, furthermore, there are no reports of wild orca whales ever attacking people, and yet there are dozens of official reports, as you can see here. This is between 2010 and 2012, of orcas attacking, killing, um, and just in general threatening their trainers and the general public. Orcas are protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972, and so the capture and killing of wild orcas is illegal without a federal permit. Depending on various factors, wild orcas live to 50 to 80 years old. Um, whereas shockingly, captive orcas live only to around 35 years old. This is um, dorsal collapse. This phenomenon occurs in only 1% of wild orca males whereas it occurs in 100% of captive orca males. Uh, Dr. Astrid Jenikin, she studies wild orcas. She believes that dorsal collapse and the general lowered life expectancy in captive orcas is due to several reasons. Um, pattern swimming, so swimming around and around the enclosure, um, doing nothing else, resting at the water's surface, so the dorsal fin is eventually just affected by gravity and pulled over, the warmer water temperatures and the general lack of exercise. Luckily, there are other alternatives um, to total captivity in these small marine parks. Kiko, who was the star of Free Willy, was released into a sea pen in the North Atlantic Ocean. Here, she was able to swim freely, eat live food, socialize with other orca whales just beyond the boundary fence, and eventually she was released. Um, in open sea pens, orcas can be viewed exhibiting their natural behaviors in their natural environment. Now, people who have had experiences with orcas, whether it be in captivity or in the wild, are profoundly impacted by them. When I was younger, I saw orca whales perform in a Japanese marine park, and I was so inspired by it that I decided I would love to do that work, to train and handle and build a relationship with a very emotionally and um, intellectually intelligent you know, animal. But these are regal creatures um, with emotional and intelligent levels similar to our own. Um, with that in mind, I urge you all to view orca whales in their native habitat where you can see them living up to their full potential. Thank you for your attention and your time. <laughs> Well, any questions? You don't have to film that, though. No. That's